All right, let's see if this works. It's kind of nice doing this at uh, this time of day. Usually I'm, I'm doing the overhead at uh, very early in the morning or when I've got to use artificial light, so it's kind of nice. Um, what can I say? What can I say? It's not going to be much going on right now. I'll just give you a general gist of what's going on. Because, uh, to be honest with you, it's, um, yeah, it's the fun time for me. Well, I mean, it's all relative, right? In the sense, oh, shit, that flipping word again. But um, this is the ultra, well, one of the good fun times. I like to just stare at the map because it's at that point. I'm like, no, I'm going to have to stare. It's also, I'm a bit... Um, before I got into the spies chapter there with Sun Tzu, I was reading some stuff on the terrain and um, I jumped. I, I just like kind of randomly snagged a chapter afterwards. But um, I'm going to have to go back to the terrain bits because it's a dense chapter. There's not very many pages. It's just dense. Well, at least this part of it is. Anyways, it's like it's about like um, saying things such as uh, entang entangling terrain and uh, accessible terrain and what does this mean for you and what does this mean for the, your opponent and so on and so forth this is flipping fascinating like I've said before the guy's just a uh, just amazing um, I will say this here so if you can see the pink spot so this is me for the narrative I've got to figure out how to get Anatoly Anatoly Rosenshield over to here secondly um, this yellow spot here, I made a mistake. All these guys were jammed up in Lublin. So that was two headquarters, three core HQs, three replacement uh, infantry divisions, and a brigade. I think it came, came out to seven and a half. You're only allowed six. So I was like, oops, I made a mistake. So what I did was I moved the 9th Army over here. That's where all his troops are anyways. Uh, uh, Plebe. And um, PLA, P L E H. P L E W E I do believe P L H uh, there's an H in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, anyways, I moved him over with all his stuff, and what I've done as a penalty for myself is all those units are now immobilized for the turn. Uh, there'll be no recombination, which sucks because there's a lot of stuff going, nice stuff going on here. So um, no recombination, no movement, nothing. That's my penalty. Uh, also, when I was looking up, um, was it the Berlin Baghdad Railway? No, it was in the Grand Campaign. I was just flipping through, uh, um, just enjoying the sunshine, and it's um, a chunk. Like I'm just turning, starting to figure out what parts of the Grand Campaign I want to focus on. The rules section in December, in you know, December 1914, going into January, because everything's going to be kind of. S s I'm not doing anything in December. I'm just going to look at what's going on historically with all the fronts, integrating them with my with my game, and then um, uh, go that. So in other words, I'm not. Yeah, there's not going to be any. I, I need to know what's going on, and then okay, I'm like okay, then I'll know like the, those strength points are there, those supply points. You get the idea, I hope. Um, Oh yeah, it was about the rail, uh, the rails, the rail stuff, uh, which is kind of in keeping of what Meandering Mike was mentioning in, in one of the comments about uh, when I made the mistake about uh, 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 the double rail here or whatever the heck it's called, uh, uh, and these are single track. Let's just go with that. And he was saying, no, you have to look at it from maybe it's uh, the getting uh, uh, the joining, getting carriages this way and that way. It's actually not the whatever back and forth and when I was looking at the rules it starts talking about how to extend uh, how to start creating more railways and what oh my god I can't wait for that stuff and so on and so forth and they were starting to talk about um, just yeah it's I could start seeing it I was like okay these this is the weak points it's kind of like the hubs or when you start that's what it's trying to represent it, yeah I was like okay I, it's still cloudy or whatever, but at least it's not, you know, um, you know, uh, opaque. It's, you know, translucent now, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that's really about it. I have to start. Oh, yeah, there's 26 open holes. That's why I have all these little things here. These are just, I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous video anymore. I don't know. Like, I'm just doing my stuff now in my head. I just, bleh. Um, 
See, these are just old um, disruption markers that I used to use when I played miniatures and whatnot. And they're like uh, one centimeter long uh, toothpicks. I painted uh, orange and then um, affixed them to uh, silicon feet or whatever. I, they ended up not working. I use uh, little puffs of, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, pieces of cotton. Now for disruption. Uh, is that it? So yeah, there's 26... Um, 26 holes for me to plug up and there's 23 of these guys. I'm not doing uh, the way Dave Schroeder says of like, oh, you can only release fourth. Okay. I'm in November now. This is my whatever's the people's militia are being integrated into um, the army. That's just the way it is. Maybe it's not in keeping with uh, maybe that's later Soviet type style thinking uh, of the way of like everybody go in it. This is the way I'm playing it. The Russians are are going to try to hunker down. They've got a new leader, Yuri Danilov. That's what I'm going to try to do. We're just going to, and yet again, also in keeping with Charles the Torah was mentioning about, you know, uh, make them pay for everything and try to, you know, hard, hard. This is going to be flippin' amazing for me. I did not expect this in a trillion years for, um, well, there's lots of things I didn't expect to happen. I didn't expect the People's Militia to appear out of nowhere. Um, I certainly didn't expect Yuri Danilov to take over uh, complete control and fire left, right, uh, people left, right, and center say, saying, okay, I'm now going to take complete control of the, um, you know, the entire theater and I'm going to move, uh, well, it just made sense. I mean, look at this, uh, you know, uh, move it over to, uh, Brest-Levotsk, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, or Brest-Levotsk, Levotsk, uh, stop doing it, Chris. Um, that's about it really, I think, um. So it's just going to be, like I said, a lot of staring at the map time. It's just going to be wonderful. And the Sun Zeus terrain stuff has just been playing in my head there. Like, just going, come on, come on, come on. you got to read a bit more before you start making uh, so whatever. It's I'm ages away from making moves. That's for a flipping sure. But it, it gets down to starting to, like, I, I guess, master moves. Or I don't know what you, if you want to call it that. Yeah, you know what I mean? And then, and, then, and then figure out how you get there. Like objectives, for goodness sakes. Or whatever. Uh, that's it. Cheapers jumping. Okay, hold on. I gotta go to the mouse. Oh, Lord of mercy. I love this. See ya. Where are you?